Rugby is a sport that is foreign to most Americans, but notorious for its dangerous tackles. Most guys shy away from the potential injuries, but not LMU athlete Mary Lane. To kick off this week's episode of Behind the Scoreboard, Mary talks about how she not only became one of the boys, but played like them too. Mary Lane fell in love with rugby a few years ago and finally tackled the idea of playing again. LMU gave her that opportunity and she never looked back again. Besides been passing the ball, of course. My first year playing was a co-ed team and I did that for about six months and then moved and then didn't play for about four years and then came to LMU and started practicing with the boys. Entering a male-only team definitely threw in a curveball, but nothing Mary couldn't handle. She learned how to use the team as motivation. I was nervous at first. I didn't think that they were really gonna accept me, uh, especially being the first female, but I really enjoy it. They really push me to be the best athlete I can be. Mary didn't want to be known as a girl who just tried, but rather the girl who scored tries. Training hard to get there helped her keep focused. I was adamant about not being the last person to cross the finish line when we're doing sprints and to prove that I had a spot on the team. Earning her place in the team meant a lot to Mary and reaching that goal took hard work. Seeing the look on the opposing team's face is always satisfying. It's as if they are blindsided. Usually the other team gets a little bit stunned that I'm on the field. Um, I remember my first game getting tackled. They kept apologizing, uh, which was really sweet. Uh, but after about five minutes of being on the field, they treat me like anyone else. Though it is fulfilling playing on the team, it is not always fun in games. Mary has to remember to keep a clear head, stay strong, and play to her advantage. In a lot of ways, you have to be mentally strong to be able to get hit continuously for 80 minutes and get back up, but then also understand the rules of rugby. You can tackle someone but not understand placement, and that can, that can determine whether someone is going to get a try or not. Getting knocked down and getting back up is what Mary does best. Her mom wishes she would never have to get knocked down at all. My mom hates it. <laughs> she wants to really support me, but I think she comes to make sure that if I'm hurt, she's there for me uh, more than anything. But when it comes down to it, they'll always support me in what I do. Mary is aware that her mother isn't the best advocate for her playing rugby. But if the ref doesn't call her off, there's no stopping her. However, preventing conflict is what Mary is most interested in and is in fact what she is studying. For me, I really like conflict management and going in and educating companies to lower the statistics of conflict within the business before it happens. Because um, I love education and I think we should keep you know, spreading awareness. No matter if Mary's in the classroom or on the field, she plays her hardest. The only person that can stand in your way is yourself. And as long as you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Mary has learned that no matter how hard you fall, you keep going. The only way to fail is to stop trying. That's it for this week's episode of Behind the Scoreboard. Be sure to tune in next time to learn more about LMU's talented athletes.